Hi guys and welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. In this spray paint art video, I'll be trying out the Montana White spray paint to see what it's like for spray paint art. Right, Montana White is Montana's lowest price spray paint in their range. It comes in a 400ml can and has an eye pressure valve system. It also comes with a level 3 medium cap. The lacquer base is synthetic, it has a gloss finish and there are around 51 colours in the range. The price per can may vary depending on what country you live in. In the UK it's around £3.90 a can. And the colours I'll be using are Squirrel, Rattlesnake, Black and Ancient White. Right, before I go any further, I'd just like to say these are my own thoughts and findings about how well the Montana White spray paint works for making spray paint art. So the first thing I'm going to do is a cap test to see how the cap sprays. So I'll be using the stock cap that comes with the cans in this video, which is a level 3 medium cap, and I'll be doing the cap test on a 4 inch wide piece of glossy card. Right then, before you use the cans, make sure you give them a good shake for at least 2 minutes each, and when you get them, there'll be a plastic donut underneath the cap, like this. This is only there to stop the cap from pressing down so it doesn't spray everywhere while in transit. So I'll be doing the cap test with the black spray paint. So when you receive the cans they'll be like this. So all you have to do is take the cap off then turn it upside down and then the plastic donut comes out. So we'll chuck that to one side. I'm just going to pull some black paint through. Through the cap. Right, I'll be doing a cap test on this piece of glossy card here, so... As you can see, the cap produced a nice thin line and didn't let too much paint out, which is good, but there was a bit of spitting out of the cap here on this side. I'll give you a closer look. So... As you can see there, there's a bit of spit in there. Let's give a nice thin line. That might be because I haven't shook the can up for long enough. So I'll give the can a bit more of a shake. The black. While I'm shaking, I'll just move this out of the way. Now the cap test is out of the way, I'm going to see what it's like to paint with. So for this space painting I'll be using glossy card which is A2 in size. And the materials I'll be using are some lid stencils. These are just off food tubs, the lids, different size ones. I'll be using a metal paint scraper. I'll be using a palette knife to sign the painting with at the end. I'll be using this food tub, which is a cone shaped food tub, but I've put a hole in the bottom. And I'll also be using some plastic sheets. These are from a bag that I've cut up. I'm going to be using this to make the texture on the planets and in the painting. Right, the first thing we'll do is get the lid stencils and place them on the sheet where the planets are going to go and spray around them to give you an outline of where your planets are. So I'm just going to do one first. I'm going to have this one here. So I'll get the rattlesnake. Just bring some paint through your cap. All I'm going to do is spray around it. Give you the outline. I'll just sit the lid out of the way for now. Now what we'll do is fill the outline in with some colours. So I'll give a squirrel, pull some paint through. Get some black. And pull some white through the cap. Some white this side. 
And then with the material we're going to use, we'll just crunch it up a bit. So we'll give you some lines, crinkles in the material so you can make your texture. And then we'll just place it on and give it a light rub. I'm just going to go back over it a bit. Just get some more texture in it. So like that, so I'm going to leave that like that. So I'm going to do the highlights and shadows on it now. So with the white, we're just going to do a mist here on the highlighted side. Just press the cap down lightly to do the mist, the highlight. Now with the black, we're going to do the shadowed side here. So like that, so that's our planet done. So before we put the lid stencil on, I'm just going to give this cap a test. So, see how it sprays. So you press it real light and it doesn't let much paint out, which is good. Press it hard. Still doesn't let too much paint out. It's also good. Just try a bit more over here. So you press the cap real lightly. Due to a nice, nice dot there. Like the valve system on these. Nice and soft to press. Doesn't let too much paint out when you press it. So I quite like these. I like using these cans. So we'll move back over to this planet now and I'm going to put the lid stencil back over this for now but ideally you want the paint to be dry before placing your lid stencils on the painting because if the paint's still wet and you place your lid stencil on the lid stencil might dig into the paint and leave a ring on your planet when you take the lid stencil back off later on but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to go ahead and place the lid stencil on while the paint is still wet so we'll get the lid stencil and we'll place it on the painting where you want your planet. Just make sure you've got a bit of a shadowed area in the highlighted area underneath the stencil. So I'm going to have that there, I think. And then we'll move on and do the rest of the planet. So I'm going to put a big one over the top of this. So I'll just place that over there for now. Going to have a planet here, I think. Small one there, I think one here, one up here, and I might have, might have one there. So I'll do the outlines around the stencils, the lid stencils. So just lightly spray around them, give you the outline, and this big one, and this one. So now we have the outlines done, we'll take the lid stencils back off for now. And we'll fill the outlines in with some paint. I'll start with this big one here. First up I'll use a squirrel. So when you're spraying around a lid stencil like this, it's already on the sheet. Just spray a bit of light around them so you get no leaking underneath your lid stencils. Bit of spit in there on the cap. I'm just going to wipe this cap off of there. Bit of a build up of paint on it around the nozzle where the paint's going, coming out. So then that produces these spits here, spits of paint. So now we'll move on to a rattlesnake. more squirrel in places I think and that's spitting a bit there still now I'll get a black just lightly round this one and then the white so 
now we'll get the material we're using to make the texture. Like I said, I'll be using the plastic bag that I've cut up to make the texture on these planets. So when, if you're doing something like this and putting a planet over a planet, when you're doing your texture, just be careful not to pull this lid stencil off. So just take your time and doing the texture. Like I said, there's no rush when doing this. Just take your time. Enjoy while you're painting. So I'll peel it back off. Produce some texture. You can always go back over it. Make some more. So the thing that I'll do for the texture on now, I'll just do this here, I think, looking at it. Yeah, that'll do for that texture. So what we'll do, we'll get the white and do the highlights first here, like a mist. So we're just pressing the cap down lightly to produce some mist. And then a shadowed area here with the black. What I'm going to do is bring the black up to about here. Just very lightly around your lid stencil. So that's a big planet done there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this lid stencil off now. So just take your time because the paint's going to be wet. So as you can see, I just touched that with my finger there. So there's a bit of bit of black paint come off. But I'm just going to leave that like that. I'm not going to risk putting the lid stencil back on because it won't go on in the exact same spot again. So I might make it worse. So I'll leave that like that. We'll move on to these other planets. So we'll get some rattlesnake, do this one first. Rattlesnake, some squirrel. Yeah, this squirrel seems to be spitting a lot, this cap. I'm not sure why. Put some more rattlesnake. Rail snake on there. Bit of black, some white. The white seems to spit a lot when you press the cap all the way down. And also, if you notice, the white isn't a true white, it's just like it's a creamier white, just off white, which isn't a bad thing. So now we've got the course of our planet. Just crinkle the material if we're using, get some lines in it. I'm going to do this one different. So this one produces a different kind of crinkle texture in the plastic. So I'm just going to place it over the top, and give it a light rub. Then we'll just pull the sheet off to make your texture. Quite like that texture on that planet, so I'm going to leave that like that. Now we'll move on to the highlights and shadow. So, with the white first, like we've done on these two, just going to mist it there. So, press the cap down lightly. And then do some shadow this side with the black. So that's that one done. We might just do a small black and white one here. So, a bit of black. 
and a bit of white. And a small piece of plastic here. So as you can see, I'm using different size pieces of plastic, the plastic sheet. I'll just cut the bag up to the sizes I need. And then it's easier than using just a big bag and wasting it all on just one planet. Just give it, I might bring some of that paint I put down before on it. So I like that there. So I'm just going to do a small highlight and shadow on it. And then the shadow side, the black. So that's that one done. Now I'll move on to this one. So put a bit of rattlesnake first thing. Bit of squirrel. See that cap still spitting a lot. I cleaned it off. Just gonna pull some paint through. Nah, it's still spitting. I'm just gonna have to work with that. And a bit of rattlesnake over the top. So some black. I'm gonna do this, mostly black I think this one. And add a bit of white there. So get another piece of plastic sheet. This time I'm gonna fold it in half. Just crunch it up a bit. And I'm gonna fold it in half like that. And all I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna turn it I think. I'll get it again. I'll turn it again there. And again, just make some more texture. So I quite like the texture on that one, so I'm gonna leave that one. Just bring that sheet back over. Twilight and shadows on it. So just press the white cap down lightly to get your mist. And then the black on the back for a shadow. So I like that one. So I'll leave that one there like that. Now this one. When you're leaving them like this, just be careful when you're doing other planets near them because the overspray might go onto these planets. Now we'll get the black and the white. So I'll just be spraying this lightly because there's not any overspray on the other planets. So with the material we're using, we'll just crunch it up again. Place it over top, give it a light rub. I like that one, so I'm going to leave that like that. So put a bit of highlight on that. And then just a bit of shadowed area. And now the last one over here, the last planet. So as you can see, I sprayed a bit too much paint there in one spot. And as you can see, the paint starts separating because there's too much paint in one spot. Now we'll move on to making the texture on the planet. But because there's a bit too much paint down and the paint started separating, the first pull with the material to make the texture might not turn out 
to where you want it to turn out. So we'll just give it a go. We'll see what it comes out like. So I'm just going to give it a light rub. But as you can see, it hasn't produced a very good texture. It has produced texture, but not that much. So you can go back over and just give it a light pull. Another rub. It's made of texture. But don't press too hard on it. Because if you press too hard and there's too much paint on, you'll just mix all the paint all together. So when you pull the plastic or whatever you're using for your texture, it'll all be mushed up all the paint. I like the texture on that, so I'm going to leave that like that. It's turned out pretty well, really. Even though there's a lot of paint on there. So now we'll add the highlights and shadows to it. So with the white, just remember press your cap down lightly when doing the highlights on, on the highlighted side. Now we'll go to the shadowed side. So that's the black done for the shadowed area. Now we have all the highlights and shadows on the planet. It's time to put the lid stencils back on. But like I said before, I'll be putting the lid stencils on while the paint's still wet. But ideally you want it to be dry, so you don't get a ring on the planet like this one here. Right, the first one I'm going to put on is the big one. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to be covering this planet I've already done up as well. So I'll get a big lid stencil. Make sure you cover that planet. So I'll have that there. I'll just place it on the sheet like that. And then that covers the planet underneath as well. And I'll get the rest of the stencils, the lid stencils. Just remember to get a bit of a shadowed and highlighted area under. So I'll have that one there. I'll have this small one there. And that one there. I'm going to have that one there. And then this last one, I think, I'll have there. Now with the lids back on the painting, we'll move on to the background. The first thing I'm going to do is add some colours here. I think I'll do a galaxy or something in the background. Right. So with the rattlesnake first, just add a bit of colour to it. I think I might have something like this. Like I said, just be a bit careful when spraying around the lid stencil. Spray a bit lighter so you get no overspray underneath the lid stencils. Now I'll get the squirrel. Spray a bit of squirrel. See, this cap's still spitting a lot. I'll use it for this part. Yeah, I'm not really liking this cap. Could be just the cap which causing it to spit. Still spitting. That's alright, we can work with that. So back to the rattlesnake. Just spray a bit more there. I'm gonna add a bit of white to the middle. A bit more of that, I think, either side. So now we've got the colours down, I'm just going to spray over it with the black, just lightly around these lid stencils first.
Right, now we've added some black over colours. We're going to get some material. Like I said, I'm using the plastic bag that I've cut up. And we're just going to place it on the sheet, on the black, where we've got the colour underneath, to make some texture in the background. Put like a galaxy in your painting. So just crunch it up so we get quite a few lines in it, creases in the sheet. I'm just going to place it on the sheet and just give it a light rub the same way as we do the planets, the texture on the planets. And then we'll just pull it off slowly. Let's give you some texture in the background. What you could do as well, we'll just fold the sheet over a bit. So we've got a clean piece of sheet. And then you can just go around the edges a bit. Just pull a bit more off if you want. It's up to you, it's your painting. You can add what you want to it. Or do what you want in the background. Yeah, a bit more like that. A bit more over here. Right, when you're doing a texture like this, something like this on the background, just be careful where the lids are as well when you're pressing down to make your texture so you don't catch the lids and move them or pick them up because it's hard to put them back in the same place where they were. So I like the texture there for the galaxy or something like that. And what I'll do now is fill the rest of the sheet in black. So I'll go around these lid stencils first bit lighter and this big one and this one now I'll fill the rest of the sheet in black Right, that's the black done for the background. So I'm just going to get some colours and just mist it either side of this galaxy here. I think I'll use a squirrel first. And all we'll be doing is misting it, the same as we had the highlights to the planet. So we'll just press the cap down lightly. And we'll move pretty fast as we move across the painting to produce like a mist. Do this side as well. And then with a rattlesnake, I'm going to do the same. Leave a bit of a, a squirrel, a darker brown colour there. And I'm going to mist some of the rattlesnake here. Go back to a squirrel. We can just build it up now. Put a bit more there. Like fade the colours into each other. So I'm liking how that's looking. So I'm going to go to the black. Now I'm going to fade the black with the squirrel. Just fade it a bit more in. So we're just going to be pressing the cap lightly on the black. Go to this side. So like I said, there's no rush when you're painting. When you're making these spray paint arts, just take your time and enjoy while you're painting. So 
quite like how that's looking. I'm just going to do a quick mist with this squirrel again. Not much. So I like how that's looking. And with the squirrel still what I've got in my hand, I'm just going to add a bit more colour around over some of the other bit black. A bit down here. So it's not really spitting much for calf when you're um, pressing light. So to a snake had a bit of bit of colour there. I think I might have a bit around the planet here. The back looks like a star or something's coming from behind it. So I'll add some squirrel first. <clears throat> some rattlesnake. When you're doing this, you want to be spraying against the lid here, the lip of the lid, so the overspray drops onto your painting. And that way, it get, the colour gets right up to the edge of your lid, and it shouldn't leave a black ring around your planet. And just with a white, I'll add a bit of white to it. So it's up to you what you add in your background. More squirrel. I'll do for colours. So I'm just going to go back with the black, just blend a bit of the black in with the colours, just in space places. So I'm just pressing the cap lightly here so it doesn't let too much paint out. It's more like, like mist in the black onto the sheet. A bit of black down there. I'll just add a bit of light to there. Just wipe this cap off. A bit of spitting from the cap. That's just because there's a build up of paint around the nozzle. So it sometimes does that. Spit. Just give it a wipe. Yeah, I like how that's looking. But, uh, yeah, I'm liking the look of that, so I'm going to leave that like that. Now I'm going to move on to add some small stars for the painting. So with the white spray paint, we're going to spray some white on our fingers here. Like that. So we get some white paint on there. So once you have some of the paint on your fingers, the white paint, you want to flick it away from the painting a couple of times so you get some of the paint off your fingers. Because if you've got too much paint on your fingers and you flick it onto the sheet, it produces big white blobs that don't look like stars. So we'll get the paint, spray some on your fingers, flick it away a couple of times, away from the painting, and then flick the rest onto the sheet. You can add as many or as little stars as you want in your painting. It's up to you. I'll add some here in the middle there. Now 
Now we have the small stars added. We're going to move on to some bigger stars. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you something. So you know, like I said about flicking your fingers away from the painting a couple of times, two, three times before flicking it onto the sheet to make these small stars. I'm just going to show you what happens if you don't flick your finger away from the painting to get some of the paint off your fingers. So I'm just going to spray some onto my fingers there. I'm not going to flick it away from the painting. I'm just going to flick it onto this sheet here. So I'll put the white paint down. So what happens if you've got a load of paint on your fingers and you, and you flick it and you get a big white blobs. I'm just going to do it again. So you get some paint on your fingers, white paint. Flick it on. And it ha that happens. So you get big white blobs in your painting in one patch. It doesn't really look like stars. With that shown, we're going to move on to the next part of the painting. So for this part, I'm going to be adding a bigger star in the painting. So I'm going to be using the metal paint scraper. This will be used to make the lines of a star. And we'll be using a white spray paint. So what we'll do to make the lines is we'll spray the white somewhere here in the middle of a paint scraper. And the overspray will be making the lines for the star. So I think I'm going to put a star here somewhere. So with a paint scraper, put it on the sheet where you want your lines to be for your star. So like I said, I'm going to have one here somewhere. And we're going to be spraying a white here in the middle. So... And when you're doing the lines, just keep an eye on the build-up of paint on the paint scraper. If you get too much, it'll run off and then drop onto your paint and leave a big white blob where the paint's run off. So just keep an eye on that. If it gets too much, you can always go and wipe it on a piece of cloth or something like that, magazine paper, something like that. Just wipe the paint off, stop it dripping. So I'll add the other lines to the star. So as you can see, it started to run there. So I'm going to wipe it off. Sometimes it's easier just to wipe the scraper every time you do a line, depending on how runny the paint is. So I'll add another line here. So can you see the paint running? I'm just going to hold it there. Not sure whether you can see it. See it running down. So to be on the safe side, I'm going to wipe it again. I'll add the last line here. Line's a bit thick of that one. So I'm just going to do the other lines thing, make them a bit bigger, the lines. So I like how them lines are looking. So we'll move on to putting a dot in the middle, a white dot. But before I do that, I'm just going to spray it on this sheet here to give it a bit of a tester, see how big of a dot it produces this cap, the white paint. So just press the cap lightly. It produces a nice, nice small dot. So the lighter you press it, the smaller the dot. So if you press it hard, you get a big dot like that. Press the cap lightly down, small dot. So I think this cap will be all right to um, do a dot in the middle. What we'll do, we'll line it up in the middle, try and get it in the middle. 
and we're just going to press the cap lightly. So that's not produced a big circle, just right, so that's alright, quite like that, quite like the circle is produced the, the dot in the middle of a star. I think looking at it, I might just do these lines a bit longer. It's up to you, you can add them a bit longer or not. So I'm just going to get the paint scraper again. I'm just going to make the lines a bit longer on it, I think. It's the same as before, just get your paint scraper, spray in the middle to make your lines. Wipe it off the scraper. I think I'll just do these ones across here. And then that one. Yeah, I'm liking how that star's looking, so I'm going to leave that like that. And I'll move on to making some bigger stars than these ones we did with our fingers and but smaller ones than this one and what I'm going to be using in this foo tub which is a cone shaped foo tub but I put a hole in the bottom so I think what I'll do is I'll get a rattlesnake I think I'll add one here so all we do is hold it about an inch above the painting inch, inch and a half something like that the closer you hold it to the painting, the smaller the star, the further you away, the bigger the star. So about an inch, inch and a half, and we'll just spray the paint down into the cone shape. And then it produces your star there. I think I'll add one here. One down here. You can also do a Different colour ones, we'll use a squirrel. Might put one here. And then with a white, we can get the white. You can go a bit closer to it and just put a bit of white in the middle. Just press the cap lightly. But if you do spray too much white out, you can always go back over with a colour. I'll add some white again, just a tad. So I think that star looks a bit too big there. So what you can do if you do mess up, and the, easy, and the good thing with spray paint is you can always go over it again. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to get a black, I'm just going to darken that out a bit. Can do it again. So then that covers that area up. So I'll just add a few more stars to it. And then you can add the star again if you want. So and then the white. So this one up here we've added a brown. I'll just get a white. Put a bit in the middle of that. I think I'll just add a couple of just white stars now. I think I'll have one here. Get a bit close to that, make a smaller one. I might have one here. One down here. So 
So I'm liking them, I'm liking the stars in there. Right then, there are all the stars added to the painting. So now it's time to lift the lid stencils back off. But like I said, the paint was wet when I added these lid stencils. So they might be a bit stuck to the painting. So I'll do this one first, this smaller one. So it is slight, slightly stuck. This is why I say it's always best to leave a paint to dry before moving on to the next layer or the next stage of a painting. So this one's a bit stuck here. Just take your time and lifting them because the background's still wet and you don't want to smudge it when you're lifting the lid stencils off. So just take your time. They'll come off. So I'm liking the look of these planets so far. So now we'll just take this big one off. This might be a bit stuck. So as you can see, that's stuck. So I'm going to get a pally knife. I'm just going to have to hold the corner of the painting down while I lift the lid a bit. So the lid's coming now slowly. Just take your time. So that's a big lid off. And I'm really liking how these look. I like the texture on them and the colours. I really like how the planets have turned out. And as you saw when I was lifting the lid stencils off, but some of the lids were stuck to the paint. The only reason why that is is because I put them put the lid stencils on while the paint was wet. And when I've lifted them off, and as you can see on this big one, you've got a bit of a ring on your planet. That's when, when you've lifted the lid, the lid stuck to the paint and pulled some off when you've lifted the lid back off. To avoid that, all you have to do is put the lid stencils on when the paint is dry. If you do that, then this won't happen. So there's one last thing to do before the painting's finished, and that is to sign a painting. So with me palette knife, or whatever you're using to sign your painting with, we're going to sign a painting. And then that's a painting finished. So I think the Montana White worked well for spray paint art. The level 3 medium cap that came with the can worked well and didn't let too much paint out. But at times when the cap was pushed down all the way it did spit a bit. But when pushing it a bit lighter it didn't spit. With a bit of practice with the caps you'll get used to how far to press the cap down to avoid it spitting. If I was going to use a Montana White for spray paint art, then I would just use the stock cap that came with the can, as it did work well. The paint also dried pretty fast, which can be a good thing. The high pressure valve system gave a good control over how much paint came out when pressing the cap down with different pressures. It may just take a bit of practice getting used to the pressure and how far to press the cap down when doing different things. But overall I enjoyed painting with the Montana white spray paint. Even though the cap did spit when pushed down all the way, I still like how the painting has turned out. I found it nice to use and the colours I used were nice and bright. Right then, I'll just give you a closer look of the painting. So I hope you found the information in this video helpful and enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.